r slash askreddit by Redmond Dietis. What's the most useless piece of information that you know? The shape of a Pringle is called a hyperbolic paraboloid. Learned it when I was 16 17 in a technical drawing class and it just won't leave my brain. That no number from 1 to 999 contains the A in its word form. A butt load is a real measurement. The butt is a specific size of wine barrel. A pretty big one, as it happens. It takes about 20 seconds for a red blood cell to travel around the body. The ends of your shoelaces are called aglets. The lighter was invented in 1823. The match wasn't invented until 1826. A Minecraft diamond block would be worth 11.2 trillion US dollars. The classification of vegetable is purely social construct and has no biological basis. Lungs are not hollow like balloons but more like sponges. You can't really see the Great Wall of China from space. I was taught that tomato is a fruit in high school. Knowledge is knowing tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is not putting it in fruit salad. Eskimos don't really have 100 words for snow. Chickens roll around in the dirt to prevent or remove lice and mites. My grandma always said they were taking a dust bath. The biggest thing that a whale can swallow is a grapefruit. Crocodiles can't stick their tongue out. Cheetahs can't retract their claws. Cheetahs also meow. Sea otters hold hands. Sharks have incredibly poor eyesight and use their nose more than anything. Dolphins hurt more people than sharks. There are no cases of a wild orca harming a human, only captive orcas. Some penguins have a prostitution system. Prince Charles's blood type is O negative. I do not know my own blood type. Originally Lurch the butler in the Adams Family TV show was going to be silent. But when he made his entrance during rehearsal of the first episode he improvised, you rang, in his deep rumbling voice, and everybody cracked up so they decided to have him speak. What's a random fact you're just waiting to bust out? Magnolia trees are so old they evolved before bees and are pollinated by beetles. The Secretary of Agriculture is ninth in line for the presidency. Next to Warsaw, Chicago has the world's second largest Polish population. Next to Lisbon, Paris has the world's second largest Portuguese population. If you eat a polar bear liver you'll die of a vitamin A overdose. Vikings would give kittens to newlywed couples as a part of the household. That when King Tut was buried the pyramids were already 2000 years old. And when Cleopatra, the last pharaoh, died King Tut had been dead for 1000 years. Sharks as a species are older than the rings of Saturn. In UK law there's a case called R vs Dudley and Stephens. Basically, they were two sailors who were stranded at sea during the 1800s who killed and ate their cabin boy, who was extremely ill, in order to avoid starving. They survived but were tried for their act of cannibalism. Essentially, they were let off with just a fine. The ruling was that the unlawful act was for the greater good, if they hadn't have killed and eaten him then it was likely that all of them would have starved to death, but instead only one of them died. This ruling was used in a recent conjoined twins case. If they carried out separation surgery then it was likely that one of the twins would have died. However, if they didn't perform the surgery then it was likely that both would die, so the surgery was allowed to proceed. Coincidentally, Edgar Allan Poe's only short story was published in 1838, about a shipwreck where the survivors draw straws to decide who to sacrifice for the other to survive. The man who drew the short straw was named Richard Parker. He was promptly sacrificed to provide meat for the others. In 1884, when the events of the Mignonette shipwreck occurred, the basis for R vs Dudley and Stephens, the young man sacrificed was also named Richard Parker. Spooky. Men ejaculate approximately at the speed of 45.06 km per hour. Huh. So that's why it's illegal to ejaculate in a school zone. Did you know Vin Diesel has a twin brother? Eggshells are all different densities so if you knock two together only one will break. Good way to crack eggs. 
despite what every Hollywood movie tells you, an inverted cross is not a symbol of the devil or any kind of evil. It's actually the cross of Saint Peter, who requested to be crucified upside down as he was not worthy to be crucified right side up as Christ was. The Dublin Whiskey Fire is an event that occurred in Dublin, Ireland where a brewery caught fire and 13 people died. Nobody died from the fire though but from alcohol poisoning by drinking the whiskey that was flowing down the street. About 1 in 50 people in the United States currently have a brain aneurysm that just hasn't ruptured. Sleep well tonight. At least I'm not in the United States. Theodore Roosevelt once got shot giving a speech. He then finished the freaking speech and said. It takes a lot more than that to take down a bull moose. The sentence I never said he stole my money can have seven different meanings depending on which word you emphasize. Every time I come across this I mentally repeat the sentence emphasizing the different words. Still blows my mind. The 22nd of February of next year, that is, to 20 to 22, will fall on a Tuesday. Tuesday. It's coming up. Henry Ford Sr. didn't invent the assembly line as the majority of people think. Henry Hines was the first. The snow used in The Wizard of Oz, and other movies at the time, was asbestos. They knew it was bad for you but figured it was safer than the alternatives which could catch on fire. And then Margaret Hamilton ended up badly burned in a prop accident anyway. The following is a grammatically valid sentence. James, while John had had had, had 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 had, had 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 the better effect on their teacher. What's the most ridiculous fact you know? The French author Georges Perrick wrote an entire novel without using the letter E. Gilbert Adair translated it into English without using the letter E. Perrick wrote a follow-up novel, La Revenance, in which he is the only vowel used. The number one buyer of explosives in the world is the US military. Number two is Disney. Oklahoma State Vegetable is a watermelon. If you stand at the base of the clock tower in London commonly called Big Ben with a digital radio tuned to the BBC, you'll hear the sound of the bell striking the hour via the radio before you hear it live. In other words, sound travels faster digitally from the microphone in the tower to the BBC studio to their transmitter to your radio, than it does analogically from the bell to you. Hang on you're burying the lead here, that sound is a live recording? Figured it was just a recording gimmick. It is indeed live, although I presume recordings were used when Big Bang was being restored from 2017 to 2020, somewhere around then. There was a tiny self-declared Republic of Canada that lasted for a few months in the winter of 1851-1852. Apparently in Korean fairy tales instead of saying once upon a time. They usually say back when tigers used to smoke. A human body can produce enough carbon upon cremation to make 200 pencils. You can be your own souvenir at your funeral. Cows moo with regional accents. Before the invention of light bulb, people slept an average of about 10 hours every night. They also often didn't sleep through the whole night. A lot of cultures had first sleep and second sleep with a wake up time in the middle to stoke the fire, have a snack, talk, etc. Edit. Yes, it was also business time. Any drink under 10% ABV was considered a soft drink until 2011 in Russia. On the flip side, there are some places that only allow beer or alcohol under like 4% to be sold in stores. In order to buy anything stronger you must go to liquor store. This is common in Nordic countries and some more conservative US state. The singer of Peanut Butter Jelly Time died in an 11-hour police standoff, during which his brother-in-law, Snoop Dogg, attempted to calm him down and convince him to surrender. Saddam Hussein wrote an erotic novel, Zabibur and the King. In the mid-1960s a group of robbers used a surplus finish anti-tank gun with a homemade suppressor to punch a hole into the side of a vault at an armored car facility in New York State. They stole almost half a million in valuables. The incident inspired the Clint Eastwood movie Thunderbolt and Lightfoot. Almost all Koreans have a genetic mutation which causes them to not produce body odor. 
Sauce. Smelly American in Seoul. Riding the bus in summer after working out feels like sitting in a crowded library with your pants full of poo. I remember reading in another post that an American who was studying there said they had a really hard time finding deodorant when they were there because most stores just didn't sell it. Up until last year, John Tyler, born in 1790 and 10th president of the US, had to live in grandsons. One passed away in September but the other one is still alive. The first item ever sold on eBay was a broken laser pointer. 9 US states have more cows than people. Idaho, Iowa, Kansas, Montana, Nebraska, North Dakota, Oklahoma, South Dakota, and Wyoming. The first person to get a measurement of the height of Everest came up with exactly 29,000 feet. They were annoyed with this, as they, probably rightly, assumed everyone would say they rounded. So they added two feet to the measurement to make it feel more accurate. Japan blurs genitals in porn because it's law. And no one wants to deal with political suicide by trying to abolish it. Toy Story 2 nearly got completely deleted, and a single stay-at-home mom saved the movie. When Pixar was working on Toy Story 2, their computers had these pre-programmed commands that would help them with the filmmaking progress. However, one of these commands, RH asterisk, would begin deleting the entire movie until it was all gone. Well, someone accidentally typed RH asterisk one day. They had to shut off the power to the entire studio to turn off the computer and try and save the movie, but by the time they were able to turn it off the majority of the movie was deleted. They honestly thought they were doomed since the movie had to be released in a few months and there were no backup copies. Or so they thought. Turns out, one of the animators for the film had a copy of the film at her house because she was given special permission as a single mom with a newborn to work on the movie at home. Needless to say, they took her computer and put it in a car with numerous pillows and bodyguards as they slowly drove to the studio and were able to get a copy of the movie onto their computers and save Toy Story 2. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. Have a nice evening. Kitos.